we need to stop adult weight gain. We have many, many different interventions, uh, some very invasive, some not invasive in terms of weight loss, and there's a lot of uh, push on the consumer to lose weight. But I think an equally important message is that we need to stop weight gain. And I think that the prebiotic fibers certainly can play a role in that weight maintenance and preventing weight, continued weight gain. And certainly they've got multiple targets within the body that they target. And so their potential mechanisms do um, reach many different systems in the body. The real challenge is that, as you know, you simply don't put on weight overnight. It's a cumulative process. So the real challenge is that, can we modulate your food intake in an unobtrusive way, in a subliminal way, so that actually you can eat your cake and not have it? I believe that we are now in a stage of science where we need to recognize that the quality of carbohydrate is significantly different, and it can affect both your satiety response and your effect for managing glycemic excursion. With uh, carbohydrates that provide a lower and a slow release of uh, glucose, lead only to a low glycemic response, a corresponding low insulin response, and we do not see this uh, typical high suppression of fat oxidation, but rather a promoting of fat utilization at the expense of carbohydrate oxidation. In addition to uh, the possibility to use these uh, carbohydrates for replacement of higher caloric ingredients like sugar and fat and thereby influencing the energy density of those products, there is evidence that with these inulin type fructans, there's also an additional uh, effect on reducing the food or energy intake Prebiotic inulin type fructans clearly can reverse some of the changes in the gut microbiota. There appears to be a consistent reduction in bifids in obese individuals, and we can look to prebiotics, I think, to reverse that change.